How to read eyes and know what someone is thinking. The eyes are the windows to the soul. That's why, when you know how to read your eyes, you can understand what someone is thinking. Our eyes can really tell a lot about us. Eyes play a crucial role in our social interaction. Not only they enable us to express our thoughts, moods, and emotions, it allows us to understand others as well. Eye behavior can help us read someone's mind. This is why we make eye contact first whenever we meet someone. What eyes can tell you? Recent research has found that eyes are truly the windows to the soul as we can access adequate information about someone by simply looking at their eyes. According to the Reading the Mind and the Eye Test RMET, study in 2003 by Simon Baron Cohen and colleagues associates at Cambridge University, UK, H. Humans have the ability to recognize inner states by observing another person's eyes. It allows us to detect subtle individual differences in social sensitivity. Eyes can detect lies. When you know how to read eyes, you can even determine if someone is lying to you or being honest. According to a 2009 study by Andrea Webb and Associates at the University of Utah, a group of participants were asked to steal money and deny it. Later researchers analyzed two groups, the original group that stole money and another group that did not steal any money. However, the researchers could identify which participants had stolen the money and lied about the theft simply by analyzing pupil dilation. David Ludden, PhD, author and professor of psychology at Georgia Gwinnett College, explains, we spend a lot of time looking at other people, especially at their faces. We're also told to look other people in the eye when we speak to them, and we may feel awkward when a person we're talking to keeps looking away. Ludden adds that psychologists Sebastian Mathod and Stefan van der Stichel argue in an issue of current directions in psychological science that the size of our pupils can reveal a lot about the intentions and emotions in of others. This is because pupil size isn't under your voluntary control. We can choose to fake a smile to show interest. We can mimic the motions of a real smile, but our pupils reveal our true emotions and lack of interest. The eyes may be the windows to the soul, but the pupils tell a lot about what's going on in the mind of another person, adds David Ludden. How to read eyes When we know how to read eyes, unconscious eye movements can help us a lot to understand someone. According to Neurolinguistic Programming NLP, this is known as eye accessing cues. However, before we can understand how exactly we can analyze eye movements, we need to understand the importance of baselining. National best-selling author Vanessa Van Edwards explains the first step to figuring out if someone is lying to you is to find their baseline. A baseline is how someone acts when they are under normal, non-threatening conditions. After you have been able to determine a person's baseline, you can analyze their eye movements and gestures which are mentioned below. Understanding Eye Directions The direction of our eyes can help us determine if someone is lying or being imaginative. Here are some basic natural movements that you can observe and analyze. 1. Upper Left Visual Memory When someone looks at their upper left, it denotes that they are accessing a memory from the past. It means they are trying to remember something by accessing a visual memory. Two. Upper Right Visual Construction When a person is looking upwards towards their right then it means they are trying to construct or create a visual image inside their mind. This denotes that the person is fabricating visuals in their mind to tell a lie. This is a good way to learn how to read eyes. 3. Lateral Left Sound Memory Looking in this direction means that the person trying to remember a sound from their past memories, like recalling a joke. This can mean that the person is not being sincere and is simply reciting lines. 4. Lateral right sound construction Looking at the direction means the person is creating a particular sound in their minds. This eye movement can be observed when someone is making false claims about a conversation they had with another person. 5. Lower Left Inner Dialogue 
When we have an internal discussion or debate, we usually tend to look at our lower left. This gesture denotes that someone is engaged in deep thought or self-inquiry or doubt. 6. Lower right kinesthetic feeling. When we try to recall a particular emotion associated with a past experience, we tend to look at the lower right. It denotes that we are digging deep into our emotions to relive the same feelings inside our minds. 7. Straight ahead. When a person's eyes are looking straight ahead and their pupils are dilated or defocused, then it denotes that their mind is busy accessing sensory information in the fastest possible way. However, this is usually applicable for right-handed people only.